Financial advice, not legal advice. For entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say in my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see my analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. Man, it gives us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, this is a, a lawsuit update. You guys are not gonna believe this, but the DTCC and FINRA have doubled down. They filed a motion Thursday and Friday claiming that they are immune from prosecution, that they are immune from being held responsible for their actions. They're not alleging that they didn't rob and steal from retail investors. They're not alleging that they didn't manipulate the market. They're not alleging that they didn't engage in this fraudulent activity. They are alleging that their role as self-regulatory organizations gives them the right to rob and steal from retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the law with no consequences whatsoever. You can only see some nonsense like this in the United States of America stock market, okay? Do you think a regulatory agency in China could go into their courts and tell them that they could rob and steal from retail investors, pension funds, and institutions and never be held accountable? They wouldn't even conceive of that argument. They wouldn't conceive of that argument. Do you think they could do that in South Korea? Do you think they could do that in England? Do you think they could do that in Japan? No, no. No other country would they be allowed to make such a ridiculous, ridiculous defense that I can rob and steal as much as I want because as an SRO, it gives me the permission to do so without any, any type of risk to my person, to my well-being, because I am immune. So what they are doubling down on is that they can do whatever they want with no oversight from anybody. So they are greater than God. They are greater than the President of the United States. They are, they are greater than Congress. They are, great, they are, they are, they are greater than, 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 than everything that America is built on. They feel that they are more powerful than the United States Constitution. And that is absolutely crazy. It's an argument that I don't believe the courts is gonna accept because even with these laws, these SRO laws that they put into existence so they can rob and steal them and do what they want with impunity, it didn't allow them to engage in fraud and corruption. It didn't allow them to engage in RICO conspiracies. It didn't allow them to willfully steal from retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that don't break the law. And I'm not just saying it, there is case law. There is case law that says that they can't do that, okay? The courts have held in previous cases that once they start engaging in fraud, engaging in corruption, that is not an official act and they will not be granted immunity. But the fact that they would double down on that in another motion, in a reply motion rather, is absolutely crazy to me. And that tells you the balls on these SROs. And me personally, I believe they are benefiting personally from the fraud and corruption because based on my limited understanding, these guys' compensation is based on a percentage of the fines that they collect. So the more fines they collect, the more money they make. So the more crime they allow to go on under their nose and then after the fact, 
find them for it, it puts them in a better position financially. It is absolutely crazy. It should be illegal. And the fact that they would even argue that is outrageous to me. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the DTCC and FINRA doubling down on they can rob and steal with impunity is absolutely outrageous? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.